How's it going, you guys? This is not the normal studio setup. Uh, this is a hotel room. In fact, this is one of the worst desk setups I've ever had. Look at this, not even enough room for my laptop. I'm literally using a magazine as a mouse pad because my mouse doesn't work on whatever this countertop is. But we ain't gonna let that stop me. I wanna do more tutorials while I'm on the road working. This one is a water droplet uh, icon or flat design water droplet in Adobe Illustrator. Let's go ahead and hop right in. I'm gonna open up a new document. We're gonna go up to new and then we're gonna pop open the new document window. I'm just gonna do 1080 by 1080 pixels. Nothing else really matters, but I might change my color mode to RGB. I like creating uh, documents in RGB and like sort of the digital workspace. Okay, so let's start with the water droplet. We're gonna start with a circle, actually. So going up to that rectangle tool down to the ellipse tool, the shortcut key for that is L. Gonna change my fill color to something blue, maybe like a light, light blue. Hit okay. Down here on stroke, I'm actually gonna click on it and then select the none. So we don't want any stroke, I just want this fill. So now we're gonna create a circle by holding shift, clicking and dragging out here on the canvas. We got a nice circle there. I'm gonna kind of center them up a little bit. And what we want to do with this circle is actually go to that direct selection tool. The shortcut key for that is A. I'm gonna select the top point of this circle, hold shift and use the up arrow key a couple times to stretch, the, uh, stretch this out almost into like an egg shape. What we're gonna do next is actually switch over to the pen tool. The shortcut key for that is P. I'm gonna hold option or alt click and drag on this, making sure to drag in the appropriate direction, and then also sort of dragging downward. And that's gonna skew one side of this to almost be that water droplet shape. Once we're there, we're gonna do something a little bit weird. Create a rectangle and make it snap to the very center of your water droplet, so right there. Once we've done that, we're gonna switch back to the selection tool, shortcut key is V, select everything, and then go select the shape builder tool. Shift M is the shortcut key for that. Hold option or alt, click and drag through the whole left side of all those shapes. We're just gonna cut it in half. So we've got the right side of our water droplet. Now what we wanna do is select this, copy up here and edit, copy, that's command or control C, and then paste in front, which is command or control F. So now we have two pieces here, see those? What we can do with this guy actually in our properties panel, I'm gonna minimize this color. Properties panel over here, there's a little button where we can flip along the horizontal axis. You can likely right click and transform and then reflect to flip if you don't see the properties panel over here. Once we've done that, we can drag this over until it locks into place. And all these pink lines are called smart guides. If you go up to view down to smart guides, you can make sure those are turned on so things actually snap into place. We've got our weird looking water droplet set up, but it's two halves. So I need to select both, shift M for that shape builder tool, and I just drag right through it and it's gonna add them back together. So we've got one single shape now. I might wanna adjust the actual shape here. So I could always grab this top point with the direct selection tool and I can move it up and down just like so until we find something that's a little bit more like that water droplet shape that we want. Once we've got it there, the only thing I really wanna edit here is how sharp of a point this is at the top. To do that, what I'm gonna do is add a stroke. And I can add the same color stroke just by dragging this fill onto the stroke. And then over in my properties panel, I can adjust the size of that stroke, maybe to something like five points. And then if I click on the stroke label, it's gonna pull up the stroke options. The biggest thing here is on the corner. I want that to be a rounded joint or join. And then uh, on the align stroke, I'm gonna align it to the outside. Now what this has done is created a five point stroke along the outside, and if we zoom in here, that's command or control plus and minus, we've actually rounded off that top point, so it's not quite as sharp anymore. Let's bring this back to one solid shape. I'm gonna do that by zooming out just a touch. 
I'm actually going to take this shape, go up to Object, down to Expand Appearance. Once we've done that, we can go back to that Shape Builder tool, Shift M is the shortcut key, and just slash through it again with everything selected, and that's going to combine everything. So basically it turned the stroke into a shape, and then it combined that into one single shape. So now we've got one single shape. It's nice and curved at the top. We've got our water droplet. We can actually add a little bit of our shading and our highlights now. Especially since it's water, there's gonna be some kind of reflection in there. All right, so let's go up to that rectangle tool. We're gonna to create a rectangle that's bigger than our water droplet and only on half of it or so. Lock into place with those smart guides. Select both with the uh, whatever that's called, the move tool, um, they're the selection tool. The shortcut key for that is V, by the way. All right, and then hold, and then go to the shape builder tool, shift M, hold option, and or alt, and just click and drag through that. Woo, we struggled through that part, but we made it. All right, so we've got this little piece on the left side. What I wanna do with him is just select him alone, change his color by double clicking that fill, to something darker and maybe something a little bit more saturated blue on that side and hit okay. So we've got this guy and I might drop the opacity to something like 75%. This is all sort of however you want to uh, make your water droplet. All right, so show you a neat trick here. If I select my pin tool, that's with the P shortcut key. And then if I hold option or alt, and hover over the line here uh, that's in the middle, I actually get like this, this sort of bendy line to the lower right, like this bendy icon. If I click and drag on this while holding Option or Alt, I can bend this line. So if I sort of bend it downward a little bit, this shows the curvature of that water droplet with that shadow a lot better than just having it on, at the halfway point. And so now we actually have a little bit of curve to this water. Uh, you can always go back into this pen tool with a shortcut key P, hold option or alt, and kind of readjust how this uh, curve curves. But um, once you get that to the point that you like it, we're ready to just add a highlight. So I'm gonna grab the pen tool again. Uh, instead of fill, I'm gonna swap that so I only have a stroke. And then on that stroke, I'm gonna make sure that it's something like uh, just white, really. Hit OK, and then over here, I'm gonna just create a small arc by clicking in one spot and then sort of clicking down here and dragging and pulling it out. And you can see what the arc is gonna be. I kinda wanna follow the edge of the water droplet just like that. Now I wanna change this stroke weight to, I'm just guessing 10. No, we're gonna go way more than that, maybe something like 30, I like that. And then click on the stroke options again and on the cap, do rounded cap, so they don't just cut off. It's a nice rounded shape. So now we have a very clean water droplet design uh, with a little bit of like a highlight there. What you could do if you wanna sort of make this smaller, you can always hit C, that's the cut tool, and you can cut into this path a little bit. And then we can go back to that uh, selection tool and just delete out those extra points. And we can select this guy and we can rotate him around and just find the spot that you like where that highlight is. And you can always up the stroke. I'm, I'm just rambling on here because I want to up the stroke weight a little bit. There we go. There's our highlight and our water droplet. What do we have left? Let's create a background. Uh, M is the shortcut key for the shape or the rectangle tool. We can create a square the size of our background and then we're gonna give it a fill but no stroke and that fill color, we're gonna make like a really steely dark blue. I'm gonna hit okay on that and we wanna send him to the back. I won't give you that shortcut key, it's super long but we can just go right click, arrange, send to back. Um, it's shift command or control left bracket by the way. So once we've got this guy right here, all that's left is creating a shadow. And that's pretty easy. You can do it multiple ways. We could just create a, um, another rectangle here, maybe like a darker one, starting at the top. And I wanna line it up with the center. So we're gonna try to use all of our anchor points there. Doesn't really matter actually. 
We're just gonna create a rectangle that is top to bottom on our water droplet and goes out far enough to the right, just like that. Um, I'm going to bring with the direct selection tool, shortcut key A, I'm gonna bring this bottom point over maybe into here-ish. Gonna zoom out just a touch. I'm gonna select the right two points, direct selection tool again. I'm just gonna bring them down while holding shift, just like that. So I'm creating the angle of my shadow. Once I've got that, I'm gonna send this guy to the back. So arrange, send to back. And then we'll do the same thing with the background, arrange, send to back. So now it's right on top of that background. What we can do now is just drop the opacity by quite a bit, maybe down to 50, actually maybe like 30% on that shadow. And then as long as we're okay, sorry about that, zooming in and out with where it lines up on top and bottom, which I like where it ends up, uh, what we could do is just select the background and that shadow and use the shape builder tool real quick and easy to just kind of chop off the right side. I used to use a clipping mask, but I think it's almost like a little bit overkill. I think you could just slice that off really quick and be done with it. All right, so there we go. We've got a water droplet design with a shadow, with a highlight, with a nice little curvature along the side showing that it's got like some kind of spherical shape to it. That's pretty nice. Uh, if you guys create your own water droplets, make sure you tag me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, wherever, at Pixel and Bracket. I'm Spencer from Pixel and Bracket, and I'll see you guys in the next one.